Hello everybody and welcome back to Yodel Art Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a hackney carriage horse or a hackney and yeah I'm going to be using the same materials as last time with the quarter horse, an HB pencil, a 3B pencil, an eraser and a sharpener. That's all you'll need. So as I said last video we'll start with a circle. In my videos you're always going to start with a circle. Sometimes the circles might be a bit of an odd shape but as I mentioned in the last video it'll probably always be a circle. So we'll just do that one circle and then another one. So a good tip that I find to make sure the proportions of the back are right is to draw the same circle just very gently about the same size in between the two because I find that just makes the proportions better. So then you want to just draw that circle. Um, then you want to get your pencil again and draw the tummy, stomach, whatever you call it. Now they're not very stocky well they are but like they're not heavy draft horses they're bred for trotting so yeah we'll just do the stomach like that and then the back is pretty dipped not too much so as the quarter horse but it's pretty dipped and we'll just draw the shoulder there as well and go up to the butt and stuff there as well now I'm going to draw it trotting, which is their primary gait often. That's what they're bred to do. So <clears throat> for the trotting stance, we'll do the same leg as last time. If you want to do the line from the butt down to the ground to help with the leg um, proportions, placing, etc., um, then you can do that too. So as you can see, I've just done a little line there to mark where the back of the leg needs to go. So we'll just draw that leg like that. Another line coming out. And we'll do the fetlock here. We'll do the little curve in. The line. And the hoof. And then we can go back up the leg. Like so. Then we're going to do the other leg and it's going to be, we're not going to do the mirroring technique this time. We're just going to draw a whole other leg as it's trotting. The mirroring technique often works best if they're standing, but today the horse is going to be trotting. So we're going to draw its other leg on the ground. So I'm going to follow the line that I did last time. And I'm going to bring the leg slightly further than it as the leg will be being pushed back by the trot movement we're gonna do the leg the fetlock the little curve in and then the hoof like that so there we got our legs our back legs now we're gonna focus on the front legs so hackneys are very well bred into their trotting gait so that they hold their front legs quite high. So that's what we're going to draw today to show the height that they pull their front legs. So because it's in a trot, it's going to be the opposite side leg as the back one that's up. So we'll draw the front leg, we'll do the circle, the muscles down, fetlock, curve, and hoof. I feel like I've done that too low. Yeah, I have, never mind. A razor comes in handy. So 
So yeah, I'll just do the fetlock like that. And the hoof. And then we're going to do the front leg like I talked about before. And as you can see in this picture, it's very, very lifted. So it's not at all just extended, relaxed trot. It's very lifted up. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll just make the basic line of proportion. We'll do the chest there. And then we'll do a line out. Like that. Line down. And a line like that. So then you're just going to go around those lines to form the leg. And you're going to do the fetlock there and come down with the hoof. Okay, now that that's all done, we can work on the head and neck area. So, <coughs> their neck, as they are for pulling carriages and stuff, their neck is quite thick, um, as you'll find with a lot of carriage draft etc horses i mean it's not a draft horse but they're quite stocky animals that are bred to pull so you want to do that head nice and high then the circle for the head and you want to do a line down and two lines going down to the snout area and then you'll do the snout and nose and mouth and stuff in that spot. Okay, now we're gonna do the cheek and ears and stuff. So the cheek on a hackney goes quite high, not too high, but about up to there. And then it meets up just about where the ears are. And then you want to do the nostrils. And if it's pulling something, you'd most likely have the mouth open as it would probably have a bit in it. But you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm going to. But of course, you can change this. Okay, there we have our basic sketch. I'll just mark out where the eyes are going to go quickly. And now I'm just going to grab my eraser and I'm going to go all over that until the lines are just dimmed. So there we go, those lines are all dim now. Now we're going to come in with our 3B pencil and we're going to go over those lines like we did in the last one. And just a bit darker, not too dark though, because if you want to erase this, like I said in the last one, you don't want it to be too dark that you can't just do it and it'll smudge. So yeah, you want to do the back, you want to do the butt, um, go out for the leg again. If there's anything you want to change, change it now because it'll be slightly more difficult to change it when it's in a darker shade. Then you want to do up the leg right there. The other back leg. And the hoof. And then you want to do the tummy or the chest and stuff. And the front legs. It's going to go over all those lines. The chest. The lifted leg. And the hoof. And then up to the neck and the head.
Okay, so there is the basic sketch model thing. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna focus on the head details now. We're also gonna do the mane and tail, and we're gonna focus a bit more on the muscle anatomy and stuff of the legs and chest. So I'll just sharpen my pencil real quick because I know it looks sharp, but it's really not. Well, not for me anyway. I require the sharpest pencil. And I'll just go in with the eyes. The eyes, I'll just zoom that camera in a bit. Actually, no, I can't. So the eyes, um, we'll just do a circle like that. You don't want to make it too big and make it roughly just below where the lump is there because that is where the eye is meant to go. Um, you want to do the shading around the bottom of the eye. And you can do some little lines just above it, marking where it goes, just some very light little lines like that. <clears throat> so that'll mark where the eye is and stuff. That eye looks pretty good. So then we'll move on to the, um, I don't know what you call it, main head base I guess um and we'll do the bones that go down like that and then we'll do the bones here and you can do some quick shading in the snout as well finger smudging again okay then we're gonna move down to the neck we're gonna do some lines like that to show where the muscles are. You can do two of those. And then we're gonna do the mane. So the mane, as I mentioned last time, if you haven't watched the last video, I'll explain it again. So you just wanna mark out where it will be. Like that. If you want it up in plaits, please have it up in plaits. I'm just gonna do it fairly short. And then do the strands of hair. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the shoulder. The shoulder, it obviously powers these legs, so you gotta do some sort of connection there that roughly rounds off where that connects because it's like our shoulder our shoulder connects or rotates and moves our arms so that's kind of important um yeah and then you just want to do the joint where the front leg is do some shading around there and then it's easier to pick out where the shoulder and the leg is there. You can also do some shading on the back leg just to make it look a bit darker as it is behind the other leg and the right and the light source will be coming from the front in this picture. And you can do some shading down the back and on the tummy and we'll come to the legs. The legs have a lot of different muscles but one that often seems to pop out is the one at the back um you just want to make it pretty not too obvious but you want to make it stick out a little more than the rest so you just want to add a little bit of a lump there and then you can go down the legs do some shading and we'll do some shading on the back leg as well as i mentioned in the first one it'll add dimension and stuff so yeah then for the hackney, the tail is fairly raised, not as raised as an Arab and not as slow down as the quarter horse that I drew in the last video. So it'll just be going out pretty flat like that. And then you'll draw down. And then you'll draw the other side. Like that. Then you can start to add in the hairs. So you just wanna 
add in the little strokes. When you're drawing hairs, you don't want to like draw big thick lines. You just want to do gentle little strokes coming from the top down to the bottom. And there we have the tail. I'll just do some quick details on the ears. If you do, if you want to do any more detail, please feel free to. I'm just going to do some more on the joints. If you want to watch me, you can. If you don't, just do your own. Um, so yeah, I'll just do some more detail for any of you guys needing more guidance to this. And you can also add in just some slightly visible ribs. It is healthy for you to be able to see the first few ribs of a horse. Don't worry. If you see a horse in a paddock and you can see a few of its ribs, it's that doesn't mean it's starving. If you can see all of its ribs and its butt is clearly, like, growing in um, and it looks like it's about to die, then call someone. But, yeah, it's actually healthy for you to be able to see their front few ribs so i'll just draw those in too and there we have our hackney if you would like any more um videos of different horses please suggest what you would like the tutorial to be on, what type of horse, etc. Um, or what materials you'd like me to use for the next one. I have alcohol-based markers. I have Prismacolor pencils. I could even just do an ink drawing if you want me to. I do not mind. So, yeah, there we have our Hackney. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!